Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have I'm Sean Pittman versus Josh Kipp, and this is going to be multiple money matches in one video. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the Sleeve Chiefs new drop for the KFC, but it's the FKC for Fire King Chicken. That drop's dropping right now. You can use my code down below for 5% off, and also you can check out both of these people's teams. Uh, I mean, they're all, they're both on Team JNC Collectibles. Um, but okay, it looks like they are playing for $10 here for the first one. Um, then we will go ahead and we will see I'm Sean Pittman decide to go first. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. For a second, I thought Josh won the Rock Paper Scissors shoot. Okay, we got Nib, Fire King Sanctuary, Black Witch, Imperm, Moonlit. They have Theosis, Riseheart, Imperm, Shifter, Riseheart. Okay, so Shifter will just skip their turn, but to be fair... Uh, like they would have gone like, you know, Sanctuary, Island, Black Witch. Uh, I don't know if they would have impermed Black Witch because they have Island on field, but they could also wait for the original Snake Eye Ash and then imperm Snake Eye Ash. Uh, but now pass, they draw Fenrir, so special summon out Fenrir, and then they Moonlit that, activate Cash to your Rise Heart special, effect to go Banish, Banish a Birth, make them Banish an Island face down, wow that's so tough. Uh, but now activates Theosis, bring out Scareclaw, Cash Tira, and then Theosis, grab back Birth, and then we're gonna go normal summon out Rise Heart and try to go battle phase game. That's exactly 8k, but they do have Imperm. So they are going to Imperm the Scareclaw, Cash Tira, uh, which you know negate its effects, so now it cannot attack while in defense. And then they go poke, poke, and then main phase two overlay for Draco Sack. Draco Sack effect, detach, bring out the tokens. Uh, then they're going to go Draco Sack, tribute token, the pomp token, birth the summon out Fenrir, so that way they can try to get Fenrir search. Um, because earlier they got hit with Moonlit Chill, but now they're gonna be good. now they get hit with Rock, and they couldn't do anything else because you know they were locked in the X Y Z, so it's not like they could like you know Draco Sack IP etc etc. Um, but now they're gonna go ahead get hit with the Rock there. And then set imperm pass to draw snake eye ash. Okay, so a game that was looking really good for Josh Kip is now looking really bad. They're gonna imperm snake eye ash, they go activate sanctuary, uh, reveal black witch, and then they admit defeat. Um, that's kind of crazy too because they activate sanctuary, reveal black witch, and they start viewing the deck as if they had island in deck, but they didn't. But uh, I mean, they still had. Black Witch and the opponent didn't have anything, so they were going to win. On to the next game, we're going to go ahead and see Josh Kip go first. Opening hands, we have Bonfire, Snake Eye Ash, Cosmic Veiler, Ash Blossom. They have Shifter, Pressured Planet, Summon Limit, Pressured Planet, Moon Look. So, activate Pressured Planet, they Ash it, set Summon Limit, pass. They draw Veiler, so they hold Shifter for the opponent's turn here, which I can respect. Uh, this is also going to make it so that way next turn we can't get hit with something like you know, Valor on our play. And I guess, like, the only thing that you really get hurt by is, like, you know, called by there if they happen to have a... Um, but, yeah, they wanted the Cosmic right away, but then they saw the opponent drop Shifter, so now they're just gonna go normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, effect, go grab out Poplar, summon Poplar, Poplar effect, they Moonlit that. Yup. Uh, I mean, they didn't have to Moonlit that, but I guess they don't want to be under their own summon limit next turn. Yeah, otherwise they could have just gone ahead and summon limited. So that way the, you know, standard play under Snake Eye Ash wouldn't work. You know, Ash, Poplar, Divine Temple, IP. Uh, but now they're going to make a Link Karibo and then activate summon limit. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I guess you stop Divine Temple because that gives them a bunch of advantage. But this Cosmic's going to go stupid. Uh, they draw Shifter. So now I activate Pressured Planet, the Cosmic the Pressured Planet, they admit the fee. Oh my gosh, how fast was that? That was a five minute loss. They lost $10 in five minutes. So now going on to the next game, uh, you know, next run back, next match. Uh, Josh is now down $10 and they will be going first in this match. Opening hands, we have Imperm Oak, Arvata, Original Sanctuary. They have Prosperity, Nib, Theosis, Imperm, and Rise Heart. So they're going to go activate Pot of Prosperity, go banish six, look at the top six. That's going to hit a unicorn there. Uh, yeah, they banish, they banish Draco Sack there. Okay, I'm guessing they just don't want to play in the rock then. 
Uh, and then put the prosperity targets back to the bottom. Okay, special out unicorn effect, the impermit, the osis, bring out Fenrir, and then Fenrir effect to go search, search out the Scareclaw Kashtira, special out uh, Kashtira Riseheart effect, banish birth, make him banish three face down, and then we will go special summon out Scareclaw Kashtira, also we hit a poplar there, uh, and then banish the osis effect, grab back birth, and then overlay into Harmonizer. Okay, uh, then we're gonna go set Imperm. So we do play in the rock there. And then activate Birth. So we have, you know, Harmonizer that can interrupt their graveyard. Birth that interrupts the graveyard. Unicorn for extra deck. Fenrir for field. Imperm for field. And then Nib. You know, bah, big rock. Ah, they draw a rock as the sixth. Activate Sanctuary. Bring out Island. Island effect, we destroy the oak from the hand to go search for Garunix. Hmm, okay, so we don't... We don't destroy Arvata. Sure. So now they're gonna go Fenrir, Unicorn, rip the World Sea, banish Garunix face down, destroy Kieran, Kieran effects, summon out the Arvata, and then pop. So pops the Imperm, original Sun Sanctuary, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash effect. Well, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just not sure why they didn't island destroy the Arvata there exactly. But okay, now we're going to go Snake Eye Ash effect. The opponent could birth here to banish, like, Oak, Original, Kieran. Like, that's not bad. Getting rid of Oak forever, Original forever. And then they may have sided down on Kieran. Um, yeah, they're going to go ahead, banish. Okay, and then Snake Eye Ash, search out Poplar, and then summon Poplar. Poplar effect, go grab out Divine Temple, that's fine. Uh, now use Snake Eye Ash effect to go bring out Flame Burge. Uh, Flame Burge onto the Harmonizer. Now we don't try to Poplar effect there. Uh, now we go up into a Hita, and then Flame Burge, summon out Poplar. Oh, I guess actually, I realize why now we didn't destroy Arvata from here. Our opponent has Harmonizer, that's right, that's right, that's right. I wasn't even thinking about that for a second. Because if you destroy Arvata, obviously they just attach it and then Kieran won't resolve. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go Hida, summon out Kestira Riseheart. That's fine. And then from here we're going to use Hita plus Kestira Riseheart. Make Princess. They drop Rock on that summon. And then now new Chain Link. We do have Poplar. Uh, it does not look like we want to use Poplar though. Okay, so we're gonna go Divine Temple to Spell Trap Zone, the Snake Eye Ash, and then yeah, the token will leave because of Island. And then they draw Pressured Planet. So yeah, they're gonna go Pressured Planet, grab out a Fenrir. Sure, normal Fenrir, Divine Temple, summon out Snake Eye Ash, Birth 1, and then they're gonna go Snake Eye Ash 2. Yeah, they just submit the fee. I'm gonna say they don't even have Poplar in deck there. So like they can't search something that's gonna be a body and they're gonna go Fenrir, go banish. And we got called by Snake Eye Oak, Kieran, Moonlit, Flame Burge. They have Theosis, Moonlit, Ash, Imperm, Pressured Planet. Oh, this game's over. Yeah, this game's over. They're gonna go Kieran, destroy, special, normal oak, effects, send, ash blossom, chain called by. Go bring out Snake Eye Ash, then Snake Eye Ash effect, they moonlit it, pass, draw rock, and then activate pressured planet. Interesting how they also decide to have that card in like going second, not just going first, because obviously this card going second, if you summon it and it like sticks, then you can't summon out a cash body. Uh, they're gonna moonlit unicorn, activates the osis, and then they scoop. Okay, so now now they're even, no one's up money. Now Josh Kip wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will go first. Opening hands, we have Nib, Arvata, Valor, Ash, Nib. They very lucky they lost the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. They have Theosis, Fenrir, Theosis, Shifter, Birth. So they're gonna go drop Shifter, special out Fenrir. Fenrir, go search for Catch 2 at Riseheart. Activates Theosis, they Ash it. Huh. They activate Theosis there. They could have summoned out Riseheart first, and then Riseheart gone ahead and banished. And then add back. But now, I guess it's like pretty much the same thing anyways. Uh, also, they hit Original there. Oh my gosh, their Kashira Riseheart's going dummy against this deck. 
It's also much better against the Fire King build than it is the Pure build. Uh, there's way more one ofs in the Fire King build. Unicorn, go grab out Birth. Pass, they draw Ponix. Normal summon Ponix, go grab out Sanctuary. And then they're going to go Fenrir to rip the Ponix and Unicorn to rip SP. And yeah, they just submit the feat there. Uh, so going on to the next game now. We will go ahead and see I'm Sean Pittman go first. We got Moonlit, Chill, Snake Eye Ash, Cosmic, Poplar, Original, the Pot of Prosperity, Imperm, Fenrir, Pressured Planet, Bell. So we got Double Hand Trap, Normal Summon Snake Eye Ash, we Imperm it, Original, Send Snake Eye Ash, Bring Out Poplar. No, okay, we're, we're going to go for Ponix. I'm going to say Poplar does not get us very far. It's just Divine Temple. Uh, so now we're going to go Sanctuary, Island, and then Island. Link off or Link Karibo Island destroy Poplar, bring out Garunix. Uh, Poplar spell traps on itself, uh, destroy Kieran. Kieran effect to summon back out, and then they bell that. Which, huh, do we even have to do that? Because isn't their next play probably like summon out Ponix and then they're gonna make a princess? So it's like. Don't you kind of want Princess to be made, and then you bell it, and then you could just Fenrir banish Princess? Like, that seems pretty strong to me. Uh, but now they're going to go ahead and make SP, set Cosmic Pass to draw another Pressured Planet. So activate Pressured Planet, the Cosmic that. And then activate Pot of Prosperity. Go ahead, banish, look at the top. And then that's going to hit a Cash Chi Rebirth there. I guess maybe... If we let them go in the princess, ah, okay, sure. I guess if they go in the princess, right, and we start with pressured planet, we can't sky crisis them. Assuming this sticks, then we go for like unicorn. We get hit with the imperm. I guess that kind of sucks, huh? But even then, it doesn't suck that bad, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that'd be like fine. Okay, uh, special. Well, kind of fine, kind of fine. They're going to go ahead, Moonlit the Fenrir, beat over SP, activate Birth as an Interruption, pass, they draw Wanted, activate Original, go search out Snake Eye Ash, and then put back. Okay, now on Res, we could go Birth to go Banish. Definitely Link Karibo, because that's going to be a body at some point if we try to Fenrir target. And then probably like Garunix, Ponix. And leave the Kieran there. Since Kieran only works like off the Arvata. It doesn't work off Kieran. Uh, so they're going to go ahead. Banish the wrong one. 100%. This is also a level 1 fire too. So it's like. Yeah no. There's actually so many reasons why you banish Ponix over Kieran. The more I think about it. 100% there. Normal summon out Snake Eye Ash. Go search out Poplar. Summon Poplar. They're going to Fenrir, banish the Snake Eye Ash. We search Divine Temple. And then activates Wanted to go search for Black Witch. Now we have Wanted draw also. Said, hi, Jib. Hi, GG Jib, real. Uh, but now they're going to go Island to destroy the Poplar. Go search out Avrata. They said, yay, I won $10. I offer coaching. They win this game? Mmm... Okay, I mean, they're going to activate Divine Temple, Spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge, and then they already normal summoned. Yeah, they already normal. Wanted, put back original, draws in the anti spell, and then they're going to go get rid of Flame Burge, summon out Black Witch, and then activate the effects. So go set Wanted, summon back out Ponix and Poplar, and then. Okay, they also don't go Ponix effect to go search, which is fair. I know that I'm Sean Pittman sided Skyburn before, but maybe that was just more for like, you know, regionals and stuff like that because of, you know, the nature of regionals. Uh, then go Poke Poke. It's also they gain 11 each, so it should have been more damage there. And then Link off into a Nightmare Phoenix effect, Pop Birth, and now turn those into a Princess, Princess effect. Uh, to summon back out. Oh, Poplar. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are we? Oh, okay, okay. So, Princess summoned Flame Bridge, then Spell Traps on Arvata. Okay, okay, sure, 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 sure. 
Uh, and then Link off up into Raging Phoenix. So now we have Princess Live. We have Divine Temple into the Arvata. We have Wanted as follow-up. We have Anti-Spell here that can go ahead and stop Pressured Planets. So that's just game. And then, yeah, end phase, wanted, grab out Black Witch, draw Kieran, summon out Black Witch, send anti-spell, effect, they impermit. Uh, I mean, this has definitely just got to be game, right? Uh, do they have any, they don't have any attributes for us. Okay. Well, I guess the thing is, like, yeah, I guess we don't, like, have to win there, right? Okay, we're just going to pass. They draw shifter for flip the pressured planet to go search. And then grabs out Scareclaw Kashtira. Sure. Activate Scareclaw Kashtira. Yeah, and they just submit the feet. So moving on to the next game now. They said sacked. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and see Josh Kip go first. We have Island, Imperm, Arvanta, Bonfire, Flame Birds, Pot of Prosperity, Theosis, Kashtira, Rise Heart, Pressured Planet, and Summon Limit. So now they're going to go activate the Pot of Prosperity. At least the Rise Heart won't be as good because they drew a bunch of the one ofs. And then look at the top six. Uh, so they're going to grab Rock. Which if they grab Rock there, you got to be pretty scared, right? They don't grab Summon Limit. So it's like they probably already have it in hand. Pressured Planet, grab out Unicorn. Summon Unicorn, Unicorn Effect, the Impermanent, activates Theosis, go bring out Fenrir, and then activate Fenrir Effect, go search for Scareclaw, Kashtira, Special Out, Kashtira, Rise Heart, Effect, Banish Birth, and they can banish three face down. That hits. Alright, I stand corrected. I said, well, they opened three one of those. Can't be that bad, right? Well, we hit a Garunix, and then I guess, like, you know, a Poplar can end up hurting too, but the Garunix will definitely hurt. Uh, summon by banishing, add back birth, set summon limit, pass, they draw moonlit chill, and then they're gonna go activate island, effect destroy Arvata to go search Kieran. Yeah, 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 they're salty that they don't have the Garunix, uh, to be able to go ahead and out summon limit there off Kieran effect. But now they're gonna go bonfire, search out Snake Eye Ash, normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, effect, go search out Poplar, and then new chain link, Poplar, Fenrir, Unicorn, Kieran, Summon Limit. Yup, so now, yeah, they did that whole chain link, so that way they go like Pop, Special, and now Poplar can't Special because they're under Summon Limit. So that's why they did it just like that instead of maybe waiting until on res to activate Fenrir on this. Like, like on res of like Poplar search or something. But they said, woo! Okay, so now Josh Kip is up $10. Uh, they will be going first again. We got Ponix, Kieran, Oak, Imperm, Nib. They have Imperm, Birth, Unicorn, Moonlit, Birth. So they will go special summon out Unicorn there. Unicorn effect. They said sure. So technically they could have gone special Unicorn, Normal, Moonlit, Make Baron, Birth, Summon out Unicorn, Unicorn effect to go search the Osis. And you have protection on it too. Um, off of the... Baron, or you could just let it happen, like, okay, sure, you stop it, fine. But now they're gonna go bring out Fenrir off the Oath, so let's go search for Cash to Arise Heart, special effect, go banish Fenrir, make him banish three face down, hits an original there, and then now activate Birth, summon out Fenrir, set Imperm Pass, they draw Ash Blossom, so normal summon out Ponix, effect, they chain Imperm, we chain Kieran. So destroy, special, uh, go search out Sanctuary, and then on res, they're just going to activate Unicorn. Yeah, they're just going to save Fenrir. They don't, they don't need to Fenrir this. It doesn't actually force anything there. Um, but now they're going to activate Sanctuary in the island. But it's actually like, wait. It's like once I said that though, it's like, huh. It actually does kind of force something. Because you know there's Sanctuary in the island and the island destroy and then that will pop. But I guess it's like okay, because now we banish Garunix face down. Summon out Garunix, summon out Ponix. They're gonna pop Birth, Fenrir, banish Garunix. They destroy Arvata, Arvata, summon back out Kieran. Uh, yeah, they already used Fenrir. Yeah, they're trying to activate another Fenrir. That would be crazy if it worked that way. 
Um, but now they're gonna go battle phase, beat over unicorn, main phase two, make a link karibo, and then use those to make SP Little Knight effect, banish catch two a rise heart, set imperm pass. So I guess banishing catch two a rise heart off field's okay. Uh, now I mean. Yeah, sure. Maybe just banishing a Fenrir would be better. I mean, this is still just level 7, like, forever. Obviously, that's why they got rid of it. But it can't use its effect again next turn. So they're going to SP, banish one Fenrir, imprim the other Fenrir, activate Birth, Birth summon out Unicorn, Unicorn effect. They said okay. So that will now go search for a Cash Tier at the Osis. Activate the Osis, the Asha, and then Unicorn to go rip the Princess. Yep. That is fine. Switch Fenrir to attack. Battle phase. Poke. Poke. And then, yeah, they're under Imperm, so... Can't try to... Well, you know, they were already under it, so, like, none of the shenanigans of Banishing was gonna work. They draw Wanted for turn. That's pretty strong. The opponent does have Birth that we still have to think about. Um, that will Banish. So we're gonna go Normal Oak. Effect. Special summon back out Ponix, and then activate Ponix. Uh, okay. And then we're gonna go Link Karibo, Tribute. Oh, maybe, okay, Unicorn, okay, okay. They weren't activating Ponix. Okay, 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 okay. I was gonna say, like, Skyburn definitely could work there. Um, but they're gonna go ahead, Pomp, go Surge. This is also game one though, right? Yeah, this is game one of the next match. This is like match number like four. Uh, they're going to go search and then birth banish the Arvata Oak and Kuhn face down. Yeah, losing the Oak there sucks. It's just Permagon. Uh, activate Wanted. And then this isn't even that good because the original already got banished face down off Kestura Rise Heart. So now it's like Link Off, make Nightmare Phoenix, Effect, Pop Birth, Draw Wanted. And then, yeah, now, okay, yeah, they just submit the field. I was going to say, now what? Uh, so now, next game, I'm Sean Pittman's going to go first. We have Bonfire, Poplar, Bonfire, Anti-Spell, Snake Eye, Ash. They have Unicorn, Nib, Shifter, Fenrir, Ash Blossom. So drop Shifter, Normal Summon, Snake Eye, Ash. Effect grab Poplar, Ash is the Poplar. They go Bonfire into Oak. Again, you may ask why they bond or ash the list. Uh, they do get to play around bonfire that way. Uh, bonfire in the poplar into divine temple. Uh, so now they just link those off into a SP. So anti spell passage or unicorn. Is it even proper to make SP there? Because you know SP is just obviously going to get beat over. It's not actually going to accomplish anything. Shouldn't you actually just leave the two bodies on field? Because you have anti spell, so there's a chance that, like. If you flip anti-spell, ah, maybe this is right, because this plays around Fenrir. Huh, I guess if they go, like, special Fenrir, battle phase, attack, then they, if they banish anti-spell, we can chain SP. But now they're gonna go special out unicorn. Yeah, it just feels so bad SP banishing there, though. Unicorn, go search out birth, activate birth, summon out Fenrir. And then Fenrir effect to go search, grab out Fenrir, overlay, make Draco sack, Draco sack effect, attach, bring out tokens, and then we're going to make Link Spider, uh, IP, and then go up in the Heat Soul, sure, uh, activate Heat Soul, pay the thousand, draw into Theosis, and then normal summon out Fenrir, Theosis, go bring out Unicorn, and then Theosis will add back a Fenrir. Okay. And then end phase. You know, bring back SP and then the Fenrir won't come back because they already brought it back. Uh, Heat Soul, pay a thousand, draw on the shifter, unfortunate. Normal summon Oak, effect. Bring out the Banish Snake Eye Ash, effect. Uh, looks like they wanted to Fenrir banish Oak and now they're chaining SP to banish Oak plus Unicorn and they also activate Unicorn effect there obviously banish World C okay go search out Ponix so we actually have our Fire King stuff this time so now we're gonna go summon Kieran pop the Poplar and then Ponix summon Poplar spell trap zone go search out a Sanctuary 
And then Snake Eye, Ashton, Self plus Poplar, bring out Flame Burge, Flame Burge onto the Fenrir, Dispel and Trap Zona, and then Activate Sanctuary, bring out Island, Link off in the Link Karibo, Bonfire, search out Snake Eye, Ash, and then we're going to go Island Effect, destroy Kieran to go search out the Arvata, sure, Kieran, summon Arvata, pop, and then go for game, whoa, we can't pop Heat Soul, wait, 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 yeah, 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 I was gonna say, we can't pop that, because it was made with the IP. Yup. Um, so now, yeah, we're just viewing extra decks there. We're gonna go Link off up in the Princess. Princess effect, summon back out Kieran. Yeah, and if they try to drop rock, we destroy the Snake Eye Ash that we searched. So, on to the next one, we're gonna see Josh Kip go first. We have Flame Burge, Wanted, Cosmic, Black Witch, Impermanent, Pot of Prosperity, Talons, Nib, Moonlit, Unicorn. So activate Pot of Prosperity. They're gonna go ahead, banish six. A little misclick on revealing the Apo there. Uh, and then go ahead and look at the top six. So we see D Fissure there. Um, but they're just gonna grab out the Osis so that way their Unicorn can play through a hand trap. And then put the rest back to the bottom. Okay, uh, now summon out Unicorn, then Unicorn Effect, grab out Birth, activate the Hostess, go summon out Fenrir, and then Fenrir Effect, go search, grab out Kashtira Rise Heart, and then summon Kashtira Rise Heart Effect, go banish Birth, make him banish three face down, doesn't hit anything there, nice, actually the first time, uh, overlay to make Draco Sack, Ah, uh, sure. Birth, summon out Fenrir. Maybe they forgot they were locked in the XYZs or something. Um, but sure, I guess, I guess we also have like a really big board. So the opponent's got to beat over a lot of bodies. We draw Valor, but then we also play in the rock and stuff. So they're going to go Imperm on the Fenrir. Special Black Witch, discard Flame Burge effect. And they Moonlit. And then they're going to Unicorn to go ahead and rip. The World Sea, yeah, that is tough because they don't have, like, a strong Normal Summon play here. Uh, so Normal Summon out Valor, make Link Karibo, Battle Phase, Beat Over Token, and then Beat Over Unicorn, Main Phase 2. We're going to Link Off into SP, and then we have SP Effect, Go Banish Fenrir, and then go set wanted end phase cosmic on the birth pass. They draw pressured planet Draco sack. Try to pop the back row. They chain wanted. They grab black witch, and then pressured planet to search out scareclaw Kashtira. and then yeah they're just revealing talents because they're just gonna go scareclaw Kashtira, banish special grab birth birth yeah and if they ever try to sp I don't know why you'd reveal it there but if they ever try to sp then you just activate talents and then. You can just rip their card from their hand and put them on nothing. Oh, they're also only at 45. Yeah, I forgot about the Moonlit and the Cosmic Damage there for a second too. That's definitely just game, 100%. Uh, they offered a rematch, but they left. Okay, so I, uh, I'm Sean Pittman, lost $20 there, and Josh Kip won $20 there. That was like an hour and 20 minutes of Yu-Gi-Oh there, but for four matches, that's not bad, that's not bad for four matches, that's like 20 minutes a match, um, yeah, but we go ahead and see Josh Kip win there, and again, like I said before, you can check out their team, uh, their team's YouTube channel, Team JNC, link down below in the description, you can also check out the Sleep Chief drop down below in the description if you want to grab that i'm pretty sure that one's gonna sell out quick because a lot of people are hyping it up but all right i'm done yapping also wait i forgot to say this one but make sure to go ahead and check out the coliseum link down below in the description if you want to play any money matches iron mans or tournaments like this and the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe